looking at Samsung Series 7 all-in-one PC. Now, with all-in-one PC, you're getting the same exact Windows 8 that you get on your tablet. You saw in the Series 5, um, the Series 500T, the Series 700T, it's the exact same Windows 8 that you're seeing on this device. Now, as you can see, you have the same functionality. This is a 10 touch capacitive, um, this is a 10, a 10 finger capacitive touch screen. So you're having uh, 27 inch and a lot of real estate to actually, you know, use this 10 finger touch. Now, as with every variation of Windows 8, you're going to be able to basically do your search, go back to the home screen, basically scroll through all your open windows. Now we're going to come back and go to the home screen. Now, this also comes with a um, with a wireless keyboard where you can basically, you know, scroll through and you uh, scroll through and basically do the same functionality that you would um, touch on the screen. Now, what you know about this particular configuration is this is a 27 inch i i7 configuration. Comes with an actual 7850 AMD Radeon HD uh, graphics card. It has over here you have your gesture um, controls, which is actually deactivated at this point in time. But you will see that on the prior video, you can actually see the gesture, um, the gesture at work. Now, the two configurations of this particular uh, all-in-one PC, you have the 27-inch with the Core i7 and the 23-inch with the Core i5. Both of these devices, come, um, both of these configurations, come with a one terabyte of storage. However, the 27-inch comes with eight gigabytes of RAM, whereas the 23-inch comes with um, six gigabytes of RAM. On basically, for the 27 inch, you are looking at about 1700 um, when it comes to pricing, and for the 23 inch, you're looking about maybe 1100 on the pricing. And these are all slated to be released at the same time Windows 8 is, um, is uh, announced, which will be October 26th. Once again, this has been Samsung Series 7 only one PC.